Hi, welcome to another Harry Helps. This week I'm going to talk about the structure of your arms. Sounds in depth, but it's not at all. What we're talking about is the first couple of three feet away from the ball, the initial part of the takeaway. It's such an overlooked part of what makes a golfer's swing consistent. If your first part of the takeaway is arms rather than a connection between arms and chest, you will imme immediately lose the relationship of club face to the body and therefore you'll lose control of the club face. And if you lose control of the club face, somewhere in the downswing you'll have to make a, a compensatory movement. So what do I mean by moving them, the chest and the arm together? Well, the majority of golfers, and I do mean the majority of golfers, tend to take the club away with their trail hand, their backhand, because the backhand feels powerful. So what most golfers will tend to do is drag their left arm across their chest because their right arm is pulling the club away. Now, as soon as the right arm pulls the club away and the left arm goes across the chest, there's nowhere else to go now. So that's when the arms have to then do their own thing and start working up on their own, lifting the club. What should happen is the relationship between the bicep and the pec uh, when you set up to a golf shot should remain constant until halfway back, until the club is parallel to the ground. If that relationship stays constant, it's very easy now to turn up to the top to complete the backswing. So if I did it from this side, this relationship stays constant. In other words, I haven't separated my left arm from my chest and I haven't dragged my left arm across my chest. So once I'm into that sort of position, now I can turn up to the top, completing a backswing. I don't have to manipulate the club face. As I said, if your arms work across your chest, you will end up getting a separated right elbow, you'll tend to lift the club, you'll lose control of the club face. So a simple way of just doing it is just think to yourself, have I moved my arm and my chest together? And if you just keep practicing that, you'll get club face control and create a bigger turn, which will give you more power. Give it a go.